Nico, in my eyes, is a true gourmet. He's one of the only chefs who actually doesn't just respect food, but actually loves eating food. Uh, and I think that's why he's gone so far within the profession, because without any classical training, I mean, he's got this great understanding for food. This is the actual rolling of the pasta now. Nice. It's actually, it's flour, salt, eggs, egg yolks, and little olive oil. And when we do this job, it always takes more than one. Otherwise, the pasta actually sort of, you can't get it thin enough because it takes two, one to feed it in and one to bring it out. You used to eat it every day as a child. Yeah, every day. I don't think I saw real meat until I was seven, six. I prefer pasta to vegetables. I mean, oh, we're finished. Oh, well, I didn't realize they've gone through twice. Yes. Oh, right. So now, now that's come through, you can see how, actually, how fine it's actually gone. And so now it's ready to be cut and then made into the ravioli, so... So now we pair them up. This pasta's become a hallmark of Harvey's, hasn't it? I mean, it's so versatile, you can do so many things with it. I mean, you can make lasagnas, you can do cannellinis, I mean, you can do a million things. What, when you make the ravioli, you've got to make sure that there's no air pockets inside the actual uh, ravioli. Otherwise, what happens is it gathers up steam and then just explodes. So you've got to make sure it's very tightly packed inside the rav. And you just gently close it up without stretching the pasta. Bring them together in the centre. Very gently. And so when you've got that basic shape, then you just a little bit more and then you're, there's your basic ravioli a lot of people don't they don't know what work is they don't know what pressure is I mean and like Harvard's kitchen I'll be quite truthful it's counterproductive now because it's, there's more bodies in there, there's more equipment in there. It's just becoming smaller all the time, so therefore it's, it's almost like being penned in. I asked for the bass and I still haven't got it in. Why haven't I got the bass in, Stephen? Right, please. Quickly, I want these three terrine. Service, come on, table 16. A lot of the time when I lose my temper in the kitchen it's because people put me in the ship. Bad on him, not showing me, correcting me. What's come here, come here, come here, come here. What the f is this shit? Hey? Yeah. Two beats, one lamb, one pigeon. One minute on the bass. 